all these bolts and this piece of metal is my biggest issue with this whole setup right here all right YouTube so just wanted to get a quick video of how uh, messed up the underside of my bed is on this rollback tow truck kind of got screwed on this deal I told the guy that I didn't really understand tow trucks it was my first one this that I guess I messed up because this is what I ended up with I've also got a grease fitting here that I got to uh, try to get out with an easy out or something but you see these chunks of steel here those are bolted through my bed and then I've got plates up top and uh, that's what uh, is used to pull my bed on and off now but I'm really not liking it so now that I've got a little more knowledge I'm going to uh, tie some chunks of steel out to my uh, rails here and but I've got to bring them in enough and kind of angle them and then across you know to where I've got clearance for my other my substructure here as it slides you can see the angles that one's angled the one that I see up here that one I'm gonna have to cut at an angle just to give myself maximum uh, clearance and whatnot but that's fine I'll do it and then uh I ripped out the uh, understructure for my uh, hydraulic hoses because I've got an electric winch on here. So I already did that project this morning. That was kind of fun. I'll show you guys a picture of that now. So there's my understructure. They used to where I hold all the hydraulic hoses and stuff. I figure that's just a bunch of weight that I don't need now because as you guys see, I've got electric winch. And a battery um, and that thing's been sufficient enough to uh, pull anything that I've needed onto the truck but to get this out I just had to uh, use the grinder across there and then cut that somebody sent a cherry picker to the dump so I went ahead and uh, cut this chunk of steel out of it to the right length now I've got to go, uh, got to notch the edges and then angle them down and on both sides to match and so I can get it squeezed up in there and uh, welded into place. Alright YouTube, so if you look on both sides, there's a little bit of a gap up here between. I might need to use the grinder a little and get rid of some of these bumps a little but my thought is I get that up there and notch out the end on both sides here and here but leave all that so that it'll kind of slide over that and then I've got a bring the cuts down like I said and over so it'll clearance this stuff and then I'll be able to weld it to here and weld it up and around here maybe a little inside up around all right you two so there's the uh, piece I cut out clearance that I haven't welded it in but I did run the bed in and now I'm gonna run it back out and uh, I also noticed these are two different lengths <laughs> another thing these uh, people that fixed this messed up so I'm gonna have to notch that in in order to get that in and be able to weld on both sides um, I think I'm gonna now take another piece and make two smaller ones of these that I can kind of wedge up in, into the sides into each side and be able to weld you know further up on those uh, two plates so that I'll have the one across the back and then one in one 
All right, YouTube. So I made one of these for each side. Oops. So it's gonna go up in there and up, but up that rib right there. Same with on that side. I kind of cleaned it up. Be extra weld and stuff if it was there. So then I'll have one for that side too. So it's gonna go up in there and then up and like that so I can weld all the way around. And then I've got that one which is gonna be right back here in the back. Oops. Across there like that. Of course centered up or straightened up but it's kind of crooked in there but I'm not gonna keep on jerking the camera around and uh, making you guys dizzy so you guys see I'm gonna weld it up there and then I'll have those little, little short ones and then uh, I'm hoping at that point that I can take off all these bolts and uh, the plate from up top and that it'll be strong enough but we'll see all right YouTube so I got that all welded in Got that one welded in. And I'll put that one across the back there. Now I'm gonna run the bed in and make sure that uh, it's all working still, clearing. I got as much welds as I could. I kept on burning myself. It's kind of hard to weld upside down, especially with uh, flux coral, which it got so much splatter. But uh, I got it, got it pretty good, so. All that good.